a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over the hearts of the children of Israel. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. All of us gazing with unveiled face on the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory as from the Lord who is the Spirit. Therefore, since we have this ministry through the mercy shown us, we are not discouraged. And even though our gospel is veiled, it is veiled for those who are perishing, in whose case the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers, so that they may not see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. Who is the image of God? We do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as the slaves for the sake of Jesus. For God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to bring to light the knowledge of the glory of God and the face of Jesus Christ. Verbum Domini. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what Lord the God proclaims the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down with, from heaven. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the ways of his steps. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I gave you a new commandment, love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Dominus Rebiscum Lexio Sancte Evangelii Segundum Matteo. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable for judgment. Whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answered to Sandri, Sanhedrin. Whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar there, recall that your brother has anything against you. Leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you'll be thrown into prison. Amen. I say to you, will not be released until you paid the last penny. The Gospel of Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this veil that remains over people who are perishing, the veil that is torn away by those who accept our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is the veil of Christ's mercy, or I should say, the veil is what clouds Christ's mercy. The veil that caused Judas to despair of Christ's mercy and uh, hang himself, as opposed to Peter, who the veil had been torn away, and he saw Jesus clearly, right? And uh, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is what the gospel is about. The entire gospel, it's about mercy. It's about tearing away the veil. People who do not understand Christ's mercy are doomed to perish. 
People do not see Christ's mercy, do not understand Christ's mercy, do not allow themselves to be immersed in Christ's mercy. They're doomed to perish, right? The, 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 the mercy of Christ is veiled. They don't see it. They don't understand the love, the compassion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that he came to save us, right? Um, and we are called to extend that mercy to everyone. Uh, to not take it upon ourselves, to, to keep it to ourselves. That's why holding grudges, and this is what Jesus talks about in the gospel, holding grudges is such a serious, serious sin, uh, because holding grudges withholds the mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through us towards others. And that is why just uh, uh, refusing to call a brother, brother, to hold on to a grudge, uh, to not reconcile with our brothers uh, is such a, such a serious sin. It's a lack of forgiveness on our part, in spite of the fact that we have been forgiven time and time and time again by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, this should be incredibly encouraging, right? This should cause us to leap for joy, to always be joyful, to always be uh, understanding. This is the means of our salvation through Christ's mercy. This is why our Lord gave us the, the Eucharist. That's why he gave us the sacrament of reconciliation. That's why he gave us the church. He gave us the sacraments to extend his mercy to us and so that we could take that mercy and extend it to others. Let us rejoice and be glad today, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us now ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs.